today's film study YouTubers is on Roy Jones versus Green Kelly for the Undisputed Light Heavyweight Championship title. Uh, Green Kelly is undefeated with 28 and 0, going against the Division Kingpin of the Light Heavyweight Championship. Uh, that'll be Roy Jones Jr. with a record of 45 and 1, with one disqualification, with no draws and 36 knockouts. They touch gloves. I want you to pay attention to Quinn Kelly's guard. He has to stay in the high guard no matter what. Roy is trying to fake him out of it, but he won't come out of it. So Roy's going to throw a shot and then he's going to go to the body. Roy puts out his knees and then trying to get Quinn Kelly to go for it, but he's not. He's even changing levels with his high guard. Look at that torso. It's wide open in the process, though. So Roy is going to throw a jab just to test out. Now he's going to lead with a lead hook just to throw Gwen Kelly off. But the real punch is right here, the body shot. It's Roy Jones, who? Roy Jones, 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 y'all must have forgot. I be the one busting head. Now that Roy is comfortable, we're going to see all his tricks now. Body feints, counter punching, followed by more body shots. Wouldn't he, Emmanuel, have to step right up into his chest? Yes, he would. So now Roy starts off with a body fake with a hard body shot to Kelly's midsection. Now he's fainting him again. Oh my god, he must be terrified. He's going to sneak something in there. What is it? A right hand followed by a sweeping hook. The clinch is initiated by Kelly. The referee comes in and breaks it up and we move into the next step of the fight. In round two, Roy and Kelly go to the center of the ring and the battle begins. Once again, they start off dropping the position. Kelly shoots the jab. Roy counters it with a belly shot. Now Roy leads the lead. Let's look at that one more time. Yeah, shoulders line up, comes around the guard, smacks him in the head with the hook. I want you to pay attention to Roy's left arm. He's asking Gwen Kelly questions. And Kelly isn't really responding, but he's going to respond eventually. Kelly finally responds. But like Roger Mayweather would say, boxing is a thinking mess. But Roy has paid attention to how long it takes Kelly to respond to his gestures and directional feints. So now what does he do? He sets up traps to take advantage of that. He's just going to leap into this left hook with no setup. He's going to control and push him off. Now he's going to attempt a body shot. I think it missed. Jab. Look at Kelly's guard. Look how low it is. Oh my god. This guy is super fast and his hands aren't in a position to protect his head. But what does Roy do? Most likely he's going to shoot another body shot. To make Glenn Kelly think that he's doing the right thing by keeping his hands down there to protect his body. So after he shoots that, Roy has to be setting up something. Look how low he's keeping that hand. Letting Kelly see it by moving it around, wagging it around. He's gotta keep doing something. See it? Look. Jab, jab, over the top. So we just seen Roy go low a couple of times and shoot a shot over the top. Low, low, high. These next movements may look foolish, but consider that this guy is hurt and Roy stepping like that. He couldn't really anticipate when Roy was going to come in. Look at this arm wagger Roy Jones. Notice that before he jumps in with a hook. He's lulling him to sleep. Wow, Roy had no defense in this fight going backwards, but just Notice this hand. Look at this hand movement. I just wanted to show you this. Look how obvious he is with it. He's not even being subtle anymore. He's just wagging that shit up there like he's a hell. In this fight, Roy would use that hand to either probe to see if he could jump in, land jabs, land body shots, or just probe and land a straight right. Or the hook. We start off in the third round. Notice how they both start off in a high guard. Roy. It's going to try to break Glenn Kelly's high guard by throwing a head shot after a head shot. He's also going to attempt a lead hook, which most of these head shots are even going to be partially blocked. Some of them are going to land, but not to live full effect. So Roy was looks back down to going to the body. It's just wide open. I also think up to this point, Kelly put up some of his best defense and also some of his best offense. He was able to back Roy, to, well, Roy backed himself to the ropes along with Kelly's help. He landed some punches on the gloves and forearms and stuff like that. And then this happened. Notice the stutter step 
the arm swinging along with lead uppercut and Kelly goes down. Going to round four and Kelly starts off with an effective jab against the Blake Jones. So effective he's able to be countered off with Roy's knee hook. Roy lands a great body shot. Kelly immediately tries to retaliate by forcing Roy to the ropes. Where he can retaliate on the champ's body, Roy holds, sneaks off an uppercut, gets away. In this round, Roy would do basketball fakes and banks. He would land some shots on Kelly, nothing really effective or should I say hurtful. And Kelly would land shots on Roy by backing him up to the ropes. Roy would just back himself into the corners or the ropes move away. And then they would reposition, start jockey position all over again. So we're going to move on to the chest. As we go into round five, they both start off in a similar guard. Roy's a little bit lower. Roy starts landing combination, or well, attempts to land combination body shots and gets away from Kelly's attacks as he pounds him on the ropes. But now at this point, Roy starts landing bomb after bomb. And then he starts landing the heavy artillery. There were some pot shots after this combination right here with Jones hurt him up against the ropes. And then the rest of the fight, well, the rest of the round, I should say, which is body shot after body shot because Kelly refused to bring his arms down. So we're going to go into round number six at this point. We start off round number six with Kelly being a little bit more aggressive and Roy Jones trying to counter every single attack that Kelly does with a body shot or Roy becoming offensive and landing body shots. This doesn't look like it's going to last longer at this point. He, he better have a regiment of a lot of ad work because Roy is gunning for him. See what I see? Look at that arm. Once again, here we go. This is the second half of our unique undisputed field tonight. Uh oh, looks like Kelly's in danger. I see Roy wagging that arm back and forth. But I'm undecided. Is it going to be an upstairs hook or a downstairs hook for the body? Let's see. Fake, ooh, to the body, and Roy holds him as it looks like Kelly almost collapsed in Roy's arms. Roy is doing the professional thing. He's waiting for the referee to step in and break it up. That way you can, I can hit you, but you can't hit me. Uh-oh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? It don't look good for Kelly. His mouth's wide open like he's gasping for air. I wonder what Roy is going to do next. I know what I would do next. Let's see what he do. So right after this gut checking encounter portrayed by Roy Jones on Kelly, they both hold on but for two separate reasons. Roy, because he doesn't want to get hit after landing a shot, and Kelly looks like he's completely out of win. He steps the referee to break it up. Roy hits him with the stutter step and then with the body shot. The stutter step was simply to confuse him and cause terror. Because he had no idea when the shot was going to come out. And then all of a sudden, Roy springs the shot of him, taking Kelly down to his knees. We go into round number seven in this battle between Glenn Kelly and Roy Jones Jr. And Roy Jones is demonstrating his pugilistic prowess by just completely whitewashing Glenn Kelly with the most flashy of moves. But I'm going to hand it over to the announce booths. Simple. He reached when he shouldn't have reached. He got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. YouTubers, if you like my content, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe. That way I keep on bringing you more content. Have a nice night.